Jose Mourinho is officially a Manchester United manager. Kicks in. Now, I'm a little bit pumped with that because the stuff and hell's been dishing out to us for the last two years have, has been a little bit painful here and there. But nevertheless, he did deliver an FA Cup. But it's time to move on now. And I think United, for the first time in a long time, we've got our timing right when it comes to choosing a new manager. And Jose Mourinho it is, and I'm pumped about that. I'm a little bit excited. Why am I excited about that? It's because he's a born winner. The number one thing for me is that the hatred that we're going to have as a club again, what we used to have under Sir Alex is now going to come back to United because everybody, everybody is going to despise Mourinho at United. Look at Chelsea, they're going to hate us now. You look at Arsenal with the uh, rivalry with Arsene Wenger, they're going to hate us now. You look at Pep Guardiola at City, the rivalry that we're going to have at the Manchester Derby for next season is going to be off its nuts. Everybody is going to be wanting to gun for Jose Mourinho at United. Can you imagine the, the Liverpool United game next season, Klopp versus Mourinho? It's going to be off its nut next season. I can't wait for that. Everyone is going to be wanting to hate United. They already do hate United, but even more now that with Mourinho, because unless Mourinho is on your side, you tend to hate Jose Mourinho because the man just brings success. Success wherever he's gone. From when he first started at Porto, then he moved on to Chelsea, and surprisingly at the time, I knew Chelsea were unloading cash back then, but the instant success he got at Chelsea came in in his first season and won the Premier League, you have to stand back and just think, wow, this guy's actually done something amazing here, and not just what, you know, I know Ranieri did it this year for Leicester, but... Can you imagine if Leicester were now to go on and be a force of world football? Which Chelsea were back in the mid-2000s with Didier Drogba scoring those goals like he did. John Terry arguably playing his best, uh, best football back then. The likes of Frank Lampard, Michael Ballack. You know, that, that was an unbelievable team that Jose Mourinho built back in the uh, mid-2000s there. And then, of course, then he went off to um, Inter Milan, won a Champions League there. Went to Spain, won a La Liga title there. Come back to Chelsea, and he's won a league title from uh, his second season at Chelsea as well. Jose Mourinho can replicate the success wherever he goes. No matter it be in England, Spain, Italy, he can repeat the success. So, as a Man United fan, we've been starved of that since Fergie's gone. And if someone can not guarantee it, but pretty much guarantee it, I'm excited. How, how could you not be excited? And it's not just success, it's repeated success. Because he went to Portugal, had success. Gone to England, had success. Gone to Italy, had success. He's gone to Spain, success. Come back to Chelsea, success. Even if he does come to United, wins us the Premier League title in a year. And then gets us, you know, like, like Chelsea, we're almost relegated in the second season. I would take that, and I would love success at Man United because it's been a while. And to, way, and to be honest, the way we were playing last season with Van Gaal, it looked like it's gonna be a while until we get that success back at United. But one other thing that I'm gonna be loving about Mourinho is the way he's able to turn his home ground into a fortress. Old Trafford will be a fortress once again. Teams will be scared to come back to Old Trafford. You look at Stamford Bridge, Jose Mourinho, what, nine years he was undefeated there, lost one game, or something crazy like that. Some figures and stats, it's just, it's it's mind-blowing. One other thing about Jose Mourinho too is that he's always, always wanted that Man United job. He has been pushing for this for ages. He never, ever says a bad word about Man United. I remember, what, two, three years ago, um, the Real Madrid tie in the Champions League where we got knocked out when Nani got that red card. Jose Mourinho came out after the game and said the better team lost. Who does that? Who says that about their own team? Jose Mourinho does. But 
To be fair, he even said that in his uh, first uh, interview with MUTV, he said how much trouble he got from uh, Real Madrid saying that. But you can tell he's only said it because he's got a soft spot for United. And I wouldn't want Jose Mourinho saying that to another team being a United manager. But you can tell he only said it because he loved Ferguson. He loved United. He wanted to suck up a bit because you can tell he wanted that United job after Fergie. Now, is he going to... Is he going to be a different manager than he was if he had got the job two years ago? The only difference for me is that back then, if he had got the job straight from Fergie and we didn't get Moyes, is that we would be expecting success straight away. We would want success. Jose Mourinho come in, Premier League title, where now he's going to get time allocated to him to build a team and build success. Time which I don't think he would have had um, if you had got this job two, three years ago when uh, Ferguson retired. One thing I love about Jose Mourinho as well about, about the players is that the players love Jose Mourinho. Always, no matter what club he has been. You just have to look at Zlatan. They love Jose Mourinho. Uh, players have been quoted, I will run through brick walls for Jose Mourinho. I will die for Jose Mourinho. He has this... this Aura about him with players. He builds special bonds with players, which at United we haven't seen. We're, in fact, you got Jose Mourinho building bonds with players like that. We got Louis van Gaal, who is turning players away from the club, like Di Maria, Van Persie, and now Memphis. You know, we, Some players just need a good cuddle, a good hug, a good arm around them to say, hey, things are going to be all right. The other good thing about Jose Mourinho is, well, being a big name, being that so many people love him, is that can you imagine the players he's going to sign for United? Now, granted, we're not in the Champions League, which leaves us in a little bit of a bad position, but can you imagine not signing Jose Mourinho? It's going to be very, very hard to attract players, but now that we do have Jose Mourinho it's a little bit easier now to attract the bigger players because he definitely, if there's any manager that can attract the big players, it's Jose. Look at Zlatan. Apparently Zlatan, that deal's almost done. Apparently, um, we should find out this week whether that deal's going to go through or not. But Zlatan, world of confidence. Dare to Zlatan. You've seen that press conference he had the other day when they asked him, you're going to be uh, at United next season. He just smiled. He just knew. He just crumbled under the spot. The confidence that man has because he says himself, when you play for Mourinho, you want to win. He turns you into a winner. And, mate, Jose Mourinho, can you imagine the other big names he's going to bring to United? The other big players. There's talks of Rafael Varane. I'm sure there's plenty more that he's already, you know, got on his wish list that we don't even know about. But I've got no doubt he's going to turn this squad into a team where we're just going to be difficult, difficult to beat. And that's what we want at the end of the day. We want big name players. We want to be in the European Cup Finals. We want to be in Cup Finals in general. And the big players will deliver that. And I think Jose Mourinho will deliver the big players. So got to be pumped about that. Now, saying all those wonderful things about Mourinho, it's time to talk, touching a few bad things that I don't like about Jose, which I think if he's going to be a United manager, he's going to change his ways just a little bit. Like, his antics, you know, I don't like the way in the press he just, just does blatant, stupid, obvious things that pisses everybody off. And, you know, the way he dealt with the uh, club doctor for Chelsea, what's her name? Eva. Can't remember her name, Eva. You know, all that unwanted attention on the club. I know he'll do anything for the players to not have attention on them, but just stupid things. You don't want him to get in a, you know, fist fights with Arsene Wenger. You know, we don't want that crap at United. If you can leave that shit at Chelsea, they'll be much, muchly uh, wanted. Now, the other thing uh, as well that I'm not a fan of Mourinho is, is his style of play at times. Now, this is a big debate. I can make a video all about this, uh, the style of play of, of Jose Mourinho, because back in the uh, mid-2000s, that Chelsea team, the way they were playing back then was superb. The way Jose had his team at Real Madrid scoring goals for fun was unbelievable. But in saying that, more recent times, this Chelsea squad that he took over, the negative football that he used to play, parking the bus all the time, I don't want to see that shit at United, but in saying that, I don't think United have got the players to play the football that 
can warrant attacking football all the time. So I can kind of see of see a mixture of Jose Mourinho parking the bus, but at the same time trying to mix a counter-attacking play into it, trying to play attacking football. But I have no doubt in my mind when Jose Mourinho is at the end of his three-year contract, three to four years, we will be attacking. We will be that team that we've always wanted to be. It's just at the initial start of this uh, run for uh, Mourinho, I think we will be parking buses um, in games. I think we'll be doing anything that means necessary to get three points. Um, talking about the, his contract, three years. Jose Mourinho is famous for three years at a club and then leaving. Now, is he going to stay three years at United? I think that's I think that's a guaranteed three years at Man United. I, I unless he fails miserably, which I like to be optimistic. I can't see Jose Mourinho failing that that bad at United, but I can kind of see where. I don't think Mourinho would want to leave after three years at United because now being at Man United, where is he going to go after this? What big, big clubs is he going to go to after this job at United? He's not going to go abroad to Spain. I can't see him coaching Barcelona. He ain't going back to Madrid. Where's he going to go in England? He ain't going to go Man City. He ain't going to go Liverpool. I think this is it now for Jose Mourinho. I think this is the job. If he's ever going to have uh, a long stay at one particular job, I think this is the right time. He's coming up to his mid-50s, I think. I think he's 53. Um, I can't see him going into long-term management with another club other than United in this term. So, three years? I think that's minimum three years. I think we're going to get minimum three years out of Jose. But if success comes his way from the start, I can, I can honestly see Mourinho staying five to seven years plus but that all depends on the success at the club, the the, the, the squad he builds, and just the, the fact of how we're going, you know? So uh, I'm excited for Jose Mourinho. I, I really am. Um, th there's so many good managers out there in the Premier League right now. It's going to be pretty hard to, um, to get somebody else if Mourinho had turned us down. So for me, it, Jose Mourinho was the right option for this term. Proven Premier League winner. Not just Premier League experience, he brings Premier League experience, but he's a winner as well. So I'm all for for the Jose uh, Mourinho appointment. I hope you guys are too. Get your comments down below. Is Jose Mourinho the right guy for you? And uh, one thing I want question I want to ask you guys as well is how long do you think he'll stay at United? Three years, like me. Could be earlier. Do you think you you get the sack after one season? Do you think you'll get 10 years plus? Or do you think he's going to do Fergie and give us 25 years of more? Get your comments down below. I'm keen to hear that. But um, anyways, lads, that's it till next time. My next video, hopefully, hopefully will be about Zlatan signing for United if that deal does go ahead. But lads, got more videos coming out soon and definitely a few FIFA videos because I've seen in the comments below you want to talk about FIFA and uh, definitely going to make a video about FIFA this week sometime. But until next time, lads, I'm your boy Curtis7 and uh, welcome Mourinho. Take care and peace.